Womakyom, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakodash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who teach them real well. And Shalom to the sincere Akyam, spread his truth and sincerity. Shalom. So, um, as you can see on the screen, you know, I made a picture of this um, Instagram post which one of the brothers sent into our group chat, which is of uh, you know, Chief Ephraim. And, um, you know, I'm not too, um, my, me personally, I'm not too occupied with what all these other camps and all their, you know, so-called leaders are doing. But when I see something like this, you know, the spirit hits me to make a video concerning something that has been mentioned. Then your taza, I will, and your taza would also be edifying. Because there are a couple of things that he said, you know, after, um, you know, uh, WFI, you know, got into a, uh, a rumble, you know, on the streets. And uh, this is what he said, man. This is the soft, scary ass camp. And then he puts all the lower cases, GMS, who want to make a marathon of video call, videos calling themselves rebuking me. For my call for camp unity to show a strong force behind our brothers at WFI Chicago. You know, this is not even, you know, the part that I actually want to make a video about. But, you know, through the spirit, you know, he, 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 he says that, you know, he wants to call for camp unity, man. But this is not of the spirit, man. Why? Because the scripture even says you know, that we should be like-minded, man. You know, when you have all these different camps, you know, with all these different doctrines, then there is no such thing as unity, man. Let me see where it is. Uh, Philippians 2, verse 2, man. This is uh, Philippians 2, verse 2. For throw you my joy that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. You know, and this is pertaining to the way that we think concerning the scriptures, you know, and everything that, you know, is... Um, is connected with that man because the scripture even says in the book of um where is it amos chapter 3 and verse 3 it says can two walk together except they be agreed so you have all these different camps out there and you know and he himself calls for you know camp unity to show a strong force behind the brothers at wfi chicago if he calls for a strong you know, camp unity. Meanwhile, they have all these different philosophies and doctrines, and they clearly showed it in the way that they behave themselves. You know, during the situation on the streets, man. You know, because we at GMS, you know, we won't do such a thing, man. You know, because we understand, you know, what is happening upon the earth and what whatever is going on right now between you know the Palestinians and the Israelis. We understand that, hey, they're fighting over the land, you know, but none of them, you know, <laughs> neither of them, you know, are the true heirs, you know, of the promised land and of the kingdom to come, man. So we understand that we should, you know, just let these things unfold as they are, you know, trust in the heavenly Father, al Bashmi al Shai to protect us in all our ways, you know, but not be starting fights, man. You know, and, you know, pull up all these discussions concerning, yeah, you know, they're not the true people, this, that, and the third. No, man, we understand that we are the true people, man. We understand that, and those that, you know, uh, hear our words, just like Yahweh Shai said, man, you know, um, my sheep shall hear my voice, man. Meaning the doctrine that we push, you know, if they, you know, uh, uh, were people that, you know, believe that the Israelis, you know, were the true people, you know, those small hats that are in Israel right now, if they are the true people, or that they believe that the Palestinians should be in the land because they've been there for so much, uh, so long a time. But once they hear the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai and be converted because they're Israelites, you know, and they believe the word that we say, then they hear the words, man. You know, like Yahweh Shai said, my sheep should hear my voice, man. So then they, you know, accept Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, man. You know, no, 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 no reason for us to pick these fights, man. You know, we are spiritual, man. You know, the scripture even says. You know, the um, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, man. Let me even grab that, man. Let 
This is 2 Corinthians 10 and 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the most tied to the pulling down of strongholds, man. So the weapons that we fight with are spiritual weapons, man, pertaining to, you know, the scriptures, the truth of the scriptures, but also, you know, through, you know, using, you know, secular history to back up the scriptures, man. But it says that the weapons of a warfare are not carnal, you know, not the carnal weapons, you know, the sword, you know, the pistol, the knives, but mighty to the most tied to the pulling down of strong ones, man, to, you know, cast down all these lies, man, that are being set up by, you know, all these other philosophies and all those that, you know, stand behind those philosophies, man. It says, verse 5, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the most high. And bringeth into captivity every thought to the obedience of Yahweh Shai. You see? So what we're actually doing is, is we're 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 um putting these people to a shame, man. You know, and those that exalt themselves against the knowledge of the truth of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, you know, we're going to bring those, of course, those that are already ordained for for that. We're going to bring them into captivity, every thought to the obedience of Yahweh Shem, and to bring them back, you know, to that former state that our people, you know, were in, and having the knowledge of who they were, you know, um, because back in the days, you know, when Yahweh Shai came and he laid down that 100% truth because he was able to open up those seven seals, you know, he brought those into the fold that were already foreordained, man, you know. And those that were already foreordained, you know, in these latter days shall, all, shall also, be, you know, receive the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shaman and come back to that former state that they was in and having that knowledge, you know, knowing the truth that was already laid down, you know, a couple of thousand years ago unto them, man. You see? But also, you know, those that, you know, don't want to believe these words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shaman, we're still putting them to an open shame, man. You see? Because whether they want to hear of a beer, you know, they shall know that the prophet have been among them, man. And the time will eventually reveal that, you know, uh, we spoke the truth, man. Starting off with the other apostles of GMS and Dao, man. You see? So, yeah. Like Second Corinthians 10 and 3 also says, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh, man. We ain't be picking fights, man. We try to solve everything spiritually, man. You know, with, 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 the, with the power... You know, of, of, of the Holy Spirit, man, which is the, which is the understanding of the scriptures, man. Um, so, yeah, let's pull up that um, that Instagram post. Because, hey, you know, can two walk together lest they be agreed, man? So what, why would you back up those that are, don't even agree with, with the doctrine that you stand for, man? You know? Because I will show himself those who said, man, those that pick up the sword shall die by the sword, man. You know, he, he said, man, if it was my kingdom, my servants shall fight, man. But this is not the kingdom of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai yet, man. You know, once Yahweh Shai comes back, that's when we're going to full fledged on fight, man. You see? And nobody's able to stand against us, man. But right now, you know, we're, we're, we're being made uh, a fishes of man. But we shall be thrown into hunters, man. You know, those that oppose themselves against the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, that are not aligned with the doctrine, you know, that Yahweh Shai spoke, which is the doctrine that the elders, elder apostles GMS on down teach. You know, we ain't down with y'all, man. You know, with, 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 with your camp unity, man. So let me read on, man. It says, You scary cats are scared of your own damn reflection. You go out to the most secluded areas where there is absolutely no food traffic to call yourselves prophets, pushing prophecies, scared of any confrontation. You jokers can't be the man of the Lord because you're scared of your own shadows. Yes, we're not the same at all. And all you scary ass jokers stay from around me. Keep that scary energy home. We don't need your pussies out there anyway. Well, you know, there's one thing that I want to make very clear in this video. And that is, is that the reason... That we are, you know, moving to these more secluded areas is because the Heavenly Father is about to bring in, you know, the famine of the word, man. You know, we have been preaching and standing in the highways and byways, you know, in the more crowded areas for a long time, man. You know, there, there was a time when, you know, GMS Holland was teaching for six to eight hours, you know, every Saturday, man. 
But right now, these 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 hours that are being put in on the highways and byways are getting less and less, man. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. So, if you look at you know the elder apostles, which if I'm correct, they stood at uh, 34th and Broadway. You know, I'm not too familiar with the streets in America and, and things like that. But they stood in the middle of the city, man. You know, rebuking, you know, our people and telling, you know, these other nations what is to come, man. Eh? So we've been standing there for a long time already, man. Stand, uh, starting off with the elder apostle GMS on down. You see? But the point is, is that because the Heavenly Father is taking away His word, from the earth, you know, which is being spoken by the prophets of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. That means that the Heavenly Father is, is, is pushing us more and more into these, you know, less secluded areas, man. Because the time for, you know, the people upon the earth, you know, to have had a chance to return to Yahweh Shem Yahushai, you know, and to, obey, and to obey His words, you know, is done for, man. Our people have, have had a chance to come back to Yahweh Shem Yahushai. This is, um, let me see, where is it? Um, Amos 8, verse 11. And it says, Behold, the days come, said the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the word of the Lord Yahweh. You see, so there is going to be a scarcity concerning the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. So if the Heavenly Father you know, it's putting the spirit upon his prophets, you know, to go to the secluded areas. What does that mean? It means that the majority of the people that are in the city, you know, won't be hearing the words of Yahweh Basham Yahushai no more, man. Less, you know, they are able to move to those secluded areas, you know, and happen to stumble upon the prophets, man. You see? Verse 12, And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord Jehovah and shall not find it. Yeah, so the time is going to come that the people upon the earth, you know, be like, hey, you know, I heard that, you know, these these, these men on the streets, they was talking about this. You know, where are they? You know, they, they, they already foretold that this would happen. You know, week in and week out, they were standing there in the corners, you know, speaking these exact words, man, the things that are happening right now. Where are they? We need to find them and, and listen to them about what is going to happen. You know? So then they're going to uh, 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 want to listen to the word of Yahweh Shem Yahushua. But then they'd be like, hey, we can't find them no more. Where are they? And that is what is happening, you know, concerning, you know, what um, what Chief Ephraim, you know, was, was saying in this Instagram post, man. You know, where he says that, you know, we're more moving into the secluded area where there is absolutely no food traffic. To call yourself prophets, man. You see? Because the Heavenly Father is taking away, you know, His prophets from the highways and byways. Why? Because the famine of the word is about to come. Which that's just very scriptural, man. It even talks about that in, um, so like a second Ezra, chapter 5, man. It says, Nevertheless, as concerning the tokens, behold, the days shall come, the day which dwell upon earth shall be taken in great number, and the way of truth shall be hidden. And the land shall be barren of faith. So here it says, nevertheless, as concerning the tokens, which is the prophecies, it says, The day shall come, that they which dwell upon earth shall be taken in great number, which is the time of Jacob's trouble, in which a lot of people are going to die. It says, And the way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren of faith, which means that there's going to be no more prophets on the streets prophesying the words of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. You know, it means that there's no more access, you know, for the people upon the earth to hear the words of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. You see? Why? Because the Heavenly Father, you know, is about to bring forth great judgment upon the earth, man. You see? So, one of the other things, you know, that I wanted to bring out in this video is, is the fact that, um, you know, um, let me see. It's First Corinthians 2 and 14. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of the Most High. So Chief Ephraim, he's not able to, you know, understand, 
you know, the things that contain to the spirit of the most high man, which is, you know, how the heavenly father works. For they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. You see, so this man is not able to, you know, judge the situation of why we are moving more out of the uh, uh, crowded areas and more to the secluded areas. He's not able to understand what is going on, man. But the spiritual man of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai that has received the spirit of the Most High, he is able to tell you exactly what is going on. He's able to tell you like, hey, we're moving more out of the crowded areas, we're moving into the secluded areas because it's about to be a wrap. You know, right now we're just, as it also says in, um, what is it? I think it is Ephesians. Um, this is Ephesians. I think it was Ephesians chapter 4. Around verse 12. And it says, yes. This is Ephesians 4 and 11. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers. For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Yahweh Shai. Till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of the Most High unto a perfect man. Unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Yahweh Shai. So right now what we're actually doing is the videos that we make and upload, you know, on the YouTube, you know, for those that have already been watching for a long time, man, so that they are going to be more and more perfected, so that we all come, you know, in the unity of the faith, and that we're going to uh, receive more knowledge, you know, the son of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, which is Yahweh Shai, and that we're going to be, you know, more edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, man, so that the elect is going to be... Um, basically have the chance to develop himself as a as a man first and then a man for Yabashim Yashaiman. You see? So that we are found worthy, you know, uh, uh, uh concerning the salvation man. You know, that we are able to improve ourselves. You see? So yeah man. Hey you know, you heard the sound, man. Hey, this was all through the spirit. You know, I was thinking about this, you know, since yesterday. You know, I was meditating about it and it kept coming in my mind. You know, and um, I just went to the gym, came back, still in the car. You know, and I was like, hey, you know, we need to bring this bring this out. A couple of scriptures came in my mind and you heard the sound. It's edifying, man. You know. So with that, I want to give all praise. Honor and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of the Great Millstone who teach and rule well, and Shalom to the sincere Akiyam's brandish truth and sincerity. Shalom.